Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. I've still got paint on my face. It doesn't feel very nice whatsoever. I think there's some stuff in my piercing. No, but today's video is a little bit of a different one. I'm showing you guys how to make some custom Chuck Taylor do-it-yourself at home. Uh, wh whatever you want to do, choose. This is a test pair. Uh, it's not really fully complete, but it is just a test pair. I just wanted to see if I would, you know, like it or not. It was all black at one point, just the plain black, black uh, old school bands. But the actual shoe I recreated was my Chuck Taylor Combo 70s, uh, which I showed you guys in, a, in an old video. It was black and white. The idea that inspired this customization came from the Converse and Mason Margiela uh, collaboration. Basically, they got a Jack Purcell model Converse or Chuck Taylor, and they pretty much just hand painted like a series of them and sold them for like 200 bucks or something like that. I haven't really been wearing them lately, it's because my child style is kind of like changing a bit. So I wanted to change it up and see if I could create something that I would wear a lot, which is a shoe right here. I mean, the first thing you want to do is you want to remove the initial laces. You do need to remove the laces so you can paint all the silver eye holes, uh, just so that they all fit in with the rest of the shoe as well. The next thing that I wanted to do was to create a bit of contrast with the shoe. I wanted to create like a, uh, just some, some black contrast at the back. Basically, I put paint on the back of that to keep that black. And I also put paint on the little signature Chuck Taylor thing that they put on the back of 70s. Next thing that I moved on to was sanding the glossy overcoat uh, from the bottom. I wasn't really sure if this was going to make a final difference or not, but I wanted to make sure that the paint was going to stick to the sole, so I did that. It takes a, a lot longer than I actually thought it would. It's kind of all the preparation I did to start painting the shoe. I know it didn't really change much, but it actually took like a lot longer than I thought it would. The next thing I moved on to was just preparing the paint. Make sure you do have like a, a background of some form. You don't want to get paint everywhere. But I used the color Stow White, so there were a different range of whites. Like, you could have got, like, plain white, but I feel like that would have been too white. So I wanted to go for a bit more of an off-white look. With the first coat, you do just want to make sure that it is a light overcoat to pretty much just get the paint settling into, the, like, the, the canvas. Um, and make sure it just dries over the top of it. I only put on six coats just to make sure that the paint was actually going to stay on the shoe itself. And then over time, you know, having that thick coat of paint over the shoe, it's eventually going to crack and peel off. Six did work really well for me as the canvas didn't become too stiff after painting it too much. Just between every coat as well, you do want to leave it for about 45 minutes to an hour to just to let dry. On the very last coat that I put on, I made sure that it was as thick as I possibly could get it to make sure I could add some texture throughout the entire shoe so it's not just a painted shoe. After you have done the painting, you want to find something to poke the dry paint through the eye holes so you can actually put laces on it. The only thing I could find was a chopstick and you know what, like if you have chopsticks lying around, like may as well uh, use them, they're actually perfect. The next thing that I did was peel off the paint from the back of the shoe uh, to reveal the plain black strips that I got. Fortunately, the black strip on the back of the shoe, it didn't work too well. I, I wasn't really happy with it. I kind of thought that this was going to happen, but you know, I just thought if it didn't work, I could just paint over it. I painted over the strips only and left the like signature converse thing on both of the shoes black. For the laces, I didn't want to put in the uh, initial laces just because they were a bit dirty. So I did just grab a pair of the laces from one of my other pair of 70s that I don't wear and I threaded them through. I did lace them up like a bit differently than what the general Chuck Taylor is actually laced up at, which is like the crisscross hatch. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I think it looks a lot nicer uh, to lace it up like this. And that's pretty much this shoe. It's all painted, it's all pretty much sticking well. This shoe turned out exactly how I envisioned it would. I'm really, really happy with the, the outcome. I really enjoy that there are a lot of different layers of the, the paint. You know, I've done a thicker coat here and it's like run down and dripped down to like one of the thinner coats. I put enough coats on the shoe that it is going to stick and it literally 
just looks like an entire shoe that's just been dipped in paint. Actually, if you do want a shortcut, just dip a shoe in paint. Uh, you know, it'll go on the inside, but hey, that, that's cool. I'm really happy with the outcome. I think that they look really good. It's pretty much exactly how I thought that they would look. Really happy with it. I have got a few ideas for outfits and so on and how I'm going to style these. So if you do want to check that out and see how I am going to wear these, go and check my Instagram or even just hit that subscribe button. Watch some of our future videos to see how I'm going to style them and how I'm going to wear them uh, or for just like a general update and so on. Thank you for watching this week's video. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. If you are new here because you were looking to, to customize your own pair of uh, Converse, uh, hopefully that inspired you to do that and uh, also hopefully it inspired you to uh, subscribe, hit the like button, comment, uh, any suggestions you may have. I do post a video every single week here in relation to men's fashion and pretty much whatever I like. Other than that, watch one of my older videos until next week where I post another video. I don't know what this one's going to be about, but you know, I'll, I'll brainstorm something uh, between now and then. I'll see you guys in the next video.